Good morning, friends. It is a chilly morning here in modern day Ephesus, and I am recording from my office and our homeschool room. I want to share with you this morning a resource that I have recently put together to help you dig deeper into the Word of God. It is the Explorer's Guide to Bible Study Essentials, and I just want to walk you through it real quick and show you what's in here. This is a free ebook we are offering, and you can download it at the link in the description below. All right, so here we're going to just walk through it. Um, I have the table of contents. So we're going to set the foundation and talk about essential tools, some techniques for in-depth Bible study, resources for deeper understanding, and tips for application and reflection. So section one, setting the foundation, just goes into understanding the purpose of Bible study. Bible study is not about just gaining knowledge, but it's about a relationship with the creator of the universe. It is about entering into the dialogue, into the story of humanity and God's, um, God's love for humanity. So we don't want to, to read the Bible simply for academic knowledge or a historical understanding. It is all of that, but it's so much more. This is a living and active um, word of God that we can read as a dialogue with the creator of the universe. In section two, I go into essential tools. We're going to talk about different English translations, word for word translations versus thought for thought translations, and how both are really um, powerful to read. And talk about commentaries, when and how to use commentaries. Also, get into using concordances like seconds and how to do word studies, because that's such a fun part for me is understanding the original meaning behind a Greek or a Hebrew word that has been translated into English. The meanings of words changes over time, as we have seen through our culture today. And we want to understand what was the historical understanding of what is being said in the text. Section three, I get into some techniques for in-depth study and introduce the inductive Bible study method. And in this, we're going to talk about observation, interpretation, and application. It is so important that we observe the text accurately by looking at it properly within context. And then that leads to our interpretation, having good interpretation of the word, which should lead to application. The word is supposed to change us from the inside out. So if we're not applying it to our lives, then we're missing a key part. Also include tips for effective inductive Bible study and go into a little more detail about word studies and definitions, which is some of my favorite part of Bible study. We're also going to talk about cross references and connecting the dots with the greater story. The Bible really is one big story with a bunch of little stories that they all connect. Um, and so it is important to always read scripture within the context of the whole book. And so looking up cross references, make sure that we um, are using scripture to interpret scripture, that we uh, are looking at the appropriate historic context of what we're studying, the section, the verse, however detailed and like locked down we're looking. In this section, I go into what are cross references, how do we find them, what to look for, looking for themes, looking for, you know, whether we're using cross references for word studies or studying a theme in the Bible. It's such a powerful tool. So go into a lot more detail with that. In section four, we're going to talk about resources, um, great resources for under for deeper understanding. And I share some of my favorite online Bible study platforms. Then I share some books that I recommend that really helps lay a solid foundation for my faith and how I study the Bible. Then in section five, I'm, I go into tips for application and reflection. So some journaling techniques that have been really useful, group study dynamics, which is so fun when we can come together and study the word together and implementing lessons in daily life. So bridging the gap between study and action, because that's the end goal, right? Is to have a relationship 
with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, and have that lead us into change in our lives to live a more righteous life by um, allowing his word to do its work in our heart. In conclusion, I just sum up all the key takeaways. And at the end, there's also an invitation to join us for the online course of Ephesus Expedition. So in Ephesus Expedition, I'm going to walk you through the history here, take you on location to see the ruins of the city of Ephesus. We're going to talk about, um, about Paul's time here, John and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and their time here. After digging into the history and the culture of first century Ephesus, we are then going to dive into Paul's letter to the Ephesian church. I'm going to take you through an in-depth inductive study on the book of Ephesians. We're going to go section by section, line by line, and really dig into what Paul is saying and the impact that it has on our lives. So we'd love for you to join us from now until January 2nd. There is a 50% discount on the course using the code Ephesus50, and you can find the link in the description below. We'd love for you to join us. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper into the great adventure with Jesus, we have a free ebook called Explorer's Guide to Bible Study Essentials, available through the link below. It's packed with tools to help you study and apply God's Word to your life. And if you'd like to support the channel, consider joining us on Patreon. Your support helps us keep creating content like this. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more great content. God bless, and we'll see you next time.